first time since her daughter Katie's death in a car crash in 2017. Morgan Grantham is opening up about her Katie bug and the Bossier jury's record setting judgment for a wrongful death lawsuit in the state of Louisiana. The civil trial held earlier this month is only the beginning. Morgan tells me in November of 2017, the driver of an oil company work truck ran a red light along Louisiana Highway 3 just south of Benton. In court, the driver continued to deny he ran the light, even though Morgan says his attorney admitted 100% fault for that crash. Katie died days later in the hospital. The driver was only given 10 days in jail, namely because at the time Louisiana law didn't mandate a blood sample be taken to determine if he was under the influence. Since that crash, the Katie bug law was passed. It now requires blood samples be taken when someone is critically injured. In trial, it came out the driver had a history of drug use, refusing or failing drug tests, and that drug residue and alcohol was later found in his work truck. The jury's wrongful death judgment was the highest in Louisiana history. You see it there and the fifth highest in the nation. Morgan said they never considered settling out of court because they wanted the facts to come out about the driver's history and the hiring practices of the companies he worked for. I caught up with Morgan on a busy day in the backyard with her three boys. She told me she's incredibly grateful to this jury. But the jury of Bossier Parish sent a message. They said, you can't do this to people. You have to do your job. There, you know, there wasn't a single redemptive quality in this entire system. It failed over and over and over again. There's things that are put into place and everybody just ignored them until the jury, the jury said, you know, this has to stop and we're going to send a message to make sure it does. And I'm incredibly grateful. The most kind thing anyone has done for me in five years was the punitive damages that the jury gave to the driver was $4,122,013, which was Katie's birthday. And that was the only thing that was about her. I didn't want this trial to be a sad story about the Granthams, you know, with some, you know, with versus the big bad old company. I don't believe that. I believe the culture has been set up because it's so profitable, because it makes so much money um, to, ignore everything else. Um, but the jury gave me the most, the kindest gift I could have received by seeing Katie in all of that mess. Um, and that hasn't happened in five years. And I am just eternally grateful that they acknowledge that um, because she does matter. And you know, this is how it played out for us, but it doesn't have to continue to play out for other people. As they have on Katie's birthday ever since Katie's losing birthday, her, the Granthams are April set 12. to give away over 2,000 books in her memory. Morgan tells me year, Katie Bug loved to read. Those books will go to area churches and many others. In the six year years of doing this, they've given away over 13,000 books. This year, as you see, it's His Grace is Enough. Katie's birthday is April 12th. Our reporting with the Granthams will continue in the weeks to come as their work continues to expose the hiring and internal reporting practices by many companies and why state and federal agencies and have laws on the books now that clearly are not doing enough to prevent tragedy.